Kaiser wants to deliver quality, affordable, evidence-based health care. Quality in Kaiser is defined as patient-centered, reliable, seamless, and transparent. To support Kaiser, we in KPIT must deliver quality, cost-effective, requirements-based technology products and services. For KPIT, quality is client-centered, reliable, seamless, and transparent. One of the truths well known in quality circles is that the quality of product, service, outcome, or result is largely governed by the quality of the process used to develop or deliver it. Another truth, the quality of the process also governs the quality of life for those of us who work at delivering and developing. Process competence is a key to delivering health care in a quality way here at Kaiser. To improve our process competence, there are some basic terms and concepts that we have to understand. We need to understand what we mean by process capability. Process capability is the range of expected results that can be achieved by following a process. It's a predictor of future process outcomes. An example, imagine riding a bicycle. Imagine taking the same route every day. You know that most days you can transverse that route in 40 minutes. Other days it takes an hour. On yet other days you speed off and do it in 35 minutes. It depends on the weather. If the wind's at your back or if you're fighting it. Depends on how much sleep you had the night before and how your body feels. So your capability to ride the same route on the same bicycle is within a range of time dependent on the circumstances. We use our understanding of our capability to predict how long it will take the next time we ride that same route. On the other hand, process performance is a measure of the actual results achieved from following the process at a particular point in time. The results achieved from following your route on a specific day. If I bicycle from point A to point B and measure how long it took me, how fast I went, that's my performance measurement. By gathering performance measurements over time, I create an understanding of my process capability. I begin to understand why my process capability varies day to day. I discover the factors that impact my capability and make my performance unpredictable. Knowing these factors, I can change my performance over time and therefore enhance my capability. One can't understand one's process capability without a good system of performance measurement. Process capability and performance are different from process maturity. Process maturity is the extent to which a specific process is explicitly defined, managed, measured, controlled, effective, continually improving, and institutionalized. An immature process is ad hoc. The process is improvised by practitioners and their management. Improvisation sometimes gets good result and sometimes flops. Think of improvisational theater, a new comic. Sometimes he works magic with an audience and sometimes he's a big disappointment. You can't predict the result. You see a new comedian one night, think he's awesome, tell all your friends, they go, it's horrible, and they think you're crazy. The show is highly dependent on how experienced the comic is. It's the same with practitioners and ad hoc or improvised process. In improv theater, there's no script to follow. Same with ad hoc process. In improvised or ad hoc process, there are likely cost and schedule problems. The quality of what you get is difficult to predict. Product service, functionality, availability, and quality may be compromised in order to meet schedules or cost constraints. Introduction of new technology is risky. Contrast that with the mature process. It's more like scripted theater. The show gets done according to a script. People are assigned their roles. They're reading from the same page from a script which is documented and continuously improved upon. Instead of an actor improvising and deciding to change his lines on stage, which would confuse the rest of the cast, 
they agree between shows to change the script. The cast tries out a new script change together. And if it works, which means they get a better audience reaction to enhanced performance, they incorporate the change permanently into the script. So a scripted process is shared, understood, used. It connects people so they can interact in a predictable way. And when they find ways to improve that interaction, they change the script. The process is living. Much like scripted theater, where the cast is supported by a director, costume people, makeup folks, sets, props, a mature process is visibly supported by management, other staff resources and tools. Technology is applied and used in a disciplined way. A scripted process is well controlled. Adherence to script is directed and disciplined. Products and services and processes are measured to understand and improve process capability. We say that a mature process is institutionalized. What does that mean? An institutionalized process is supported by an infrastructure that ensures the process is constantly used and consistently applied. Policies are in place. Rewards and recognition support the process. There are standard procedures, training, measurement, and verification, all aligned with the process. Institutionalized processes endure long after the people who originally defined those processes have moved on to greater things. In a mature organization, written process has become habit.